I used to dread that knock. It meant my dad's habits had caught up with him again. It's a weird thing to see your dad taken away, but you kind of get used to it. It's actually the moments right after that are the worst. When everyone leaves and it's silent. And you're on your own, again. I just wish they didn't have to kick in the door. Dad isn't around to help us fix it. One time, me and Mum lived without one for three days. Dad was taken away and locked up tight, but we were left without even a front door to protect us. Here's something I learned. If no one is going to fight for you, then you need to fight for yourself. Be the one that hits first. Fight your teachers, fight your friends, fight the police too. That's what I learned, so that's what I lived. Someone from Prison Fellowship visited my dad and they signed me up for a camp. I tried to fight it, but at that camp, something changed. It started with this game called Shooting Stars. You had to say what you admire about someone else in the group. It was so unusual for me to hear nice things about myself. I just remember feeling something I'd never felt before. I felt valuable. Hi. Hi. So good to see you. One of the leaders, Helen, has become my mentor. She puts time into me, checks on me, and keeps telling me that I'm smart. She tells me I could even go to university one day. It's like she's fighting for me. And I'm starting to learn, maybe I don't need to fight so hard. Here's something else I'm learning. There are people out there, people I don't even know, who want to see me do well in life. For whatever reason, they care. They see potential in me. There's hope, even in the mess. And I might just be able to make something of myself.